Oh, I wouldn't bother trying if I was you, my dear. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I totally get it that you're trying so hard. I mean, this whole spooky month you've been fighting to stay sane for so long. <laughs> I mean, oh, oh, it's been... Oh, it's been magnificent to watch and experience it all. I mean, uh, I have to say it has been an interesting little adventure of ours, you know, trying to get lots and lots of bad people to keep an eye on you. And it was definitely a challenge, I have to say. <laughs> oh, you're wondering where you are. I would happily, um, <laughs> tell you, but why don't you think about it? No, no, really think. Where do you think you are? That's right. <laughs> You're inside an asylum. Oh, but there's some significance about this asylum. And you should know. <laughs> You've been in here before. Oh, all those years ago. So many years. So many. <laughs> oh, you must be wondering why you're here, of all things, though. <laughs> Well, I guess I should say it. Let me say it, little listener. Welcome <laughs> to a show of a lifetime. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Give them a round of applause for being such a good sport. <laughs> Oh, you want to know where I am? <laughs> Gladly. Absolutely. Do you hear that, everyone? There's such a terrible rush <laughs> to get the show started. <laughs> Very well. As you wish. Little listener. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of every age, and demons and ghouls, let me by just say thank you. Truly, if it wasn't for your help, I would never be reunited with the little listener. I know it's been hard. Truly, I understand that. But... <laughs> you must all understand, this all happened because, well, me and the little listener have been through a lot. And it breaks my heart to hear that you, the little listener, have forgotten who I am. <laughs> and that's why we're here, to remind you. Look at me. Look at me! You can't honestly forget who I am! We have history together! You've even killed me once! I came back from hell just to see you again! And it broke my heart to kill Missy. But she fucked up big time, didn't she? You know, letting you fall off that cliff after she was chasing you. You know... To have you hit your head so hard to forget me? 
And it took me so long to get you back here. And I mean, god damn it all. You were an absolute nightmare to find. And then when I finally found you, I thought, for all time's sake, why don't I have some fun with you? What I did was simply this. I brought all my friends from hell here to torture you, to make you remember me. But you're not remembering me yet, are you? It's me! Look! It's Mr. Smiles. <laughs> yes, I can see it now. You're starting to remember. Look at me. I did this all for you. And I mean that. Truly. All of this was for you. And also, I won't deny that I may or may not have promised them that they could feast upon you in bloody blah. Speaking of which, you know why they call me the man who laughs last? Well, it's like a joke. Oh, and speaking of which of that joke, hold a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, I have some confessions to make. I am grateful for all your help, but, well, me and the reporter need some privacy. And I am going to have the last laugh. <laughs> Bye-bye! Oh, what am I doing? Well, my dear old reporter... I am having you all to myself. And why? Well, also... Fuck those demons. You're mine! And tell me, little reporter... Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Because I have, and I want to dance with you. Now come here. There's no point fighting it. There are no exits, or no way of escaping at all. So let's just dance together for all time's sake. You know, as well, I have grown quite affectionate of you. It really broke my heart knowing that you had forgotten me so easily. It really hurt my feelings, you know. <sighs> no matter, though. Here we are. Dancing to the oblivion. And I will say with pride at heart that this really was fun. Bye-bye, <sighs> reporter. It has been fun. Really, it's truly been fun.
Hello everyone. I am glad to see that every single one of you has been enjoying my Halloween special series. And I will tell you now, I do intend to do it again next year. But until then, please everyone, get up from your seats, start walking home, and whatever you do, stay in the light. Because you never know what could be lurking in the dark. Ready to feast upon your blood, your bones, your flesh. Or, well, I would just hate for you all to run into an insane clown. <laughs> Until next time.